Hey what's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new Transformer figures to review and this is the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Kingdom Mirage. And so a lot of you has questioned me about will this guy be different than the Siege versions or this is just another retool and recolor. And I must say this is a different figure than the previous one, the Siege version. So in this review, I'm gonna compare both of them next to one another so you can see the difference. And for you to decide, will you be needing this Kingdom versions of Mirage? So let's begin. So first off for the details for the robot mode, I will go to the head. And this is the same head sculpt and paint up. I see nothing new over here. This is the same. You got the same mold, the same paint, the silver face paint, and you got the same blue eyes. And overall, the eyes are the same. And one different thing about the Siege versions than the Kingdom versions will be the two holes on the shoulders of him. With the Kingdom versions, you don't have these two holes. So that is under you will be unable to plug in his grappling hook cannon onto his shoulders. But now, this is more than an armament to hold in the hand. Moving on to the chest section, as you can see here, the first impression on me is that the size of the two chests, as you can see, the Siege version is broader, it's kept the feel like this is somehow too long compared to the Kingdom versions. It is more neat and I prefer, actually myself, I prefer the Kingdom versions more than the Siege. And with the Siege, all you got is a surface of white plastic with some red and blue paint on it. But with the Kingdom version, this is actually a piece of blue plastic that got paint white in there. And, and the nice thing is, you got two layers of, layers of paint. For the centerpiece of the chest, this is a really thick pen ship so that it holds and it just feels the white. But with the two, these two sections over here, they are only a minimal paint applied on there. So you still get some blues out of it. And also it highlights the blue lining on the details, which makes the figure look spot on. And actually I would prefer the Kingdom chest for this one. And the torso is just basically the same piece of plastic and there's nothing too exciting to talk about it. Next one is the arms and as you can see for these two arms over here the first major difference is that the shoulder armors. As you can see the siege shoulder armor is quite big and it got a really nice sil matte silver paint on it and it has this hinge to move up and down. But with the Kingdom versions they have cut it out so all you got is a piece of white and blue plastic and it actually it cannot move in and out so you, the only thing you can do is rotate it and moving on to the arms and i must say that i would prefer the colors of the kingdom version's arms than the siege version you got a lot more paint and this is the same the white paint with the blue plastic so you got some nice blue linings onto the white plastic and i must say that i would prefer the combination of the arms you got the blue shoulders you got the gray bicep and you got the blue and white arms and you got the black hands i mean it just looks spot on comparing to the siege version this is just gray and black just quite looking quite dull to me and to the final component will be the legs and the first impression that i got to make is that the kingdom versions makes the legs look a lot more appealing than the siege they are more tucked in and they don't they're not too broad on the outside one thing the siege version does better will be the piece of plastic they are using i would prefer i would love to see that this beautiful clear blue piece of plastic rather than just some blue plastic but if you turn them around and you can see the engineering has got so much better for the Siege versions, you see these two wheels, they actually they tuck onto the sides. So it, it when you look the figures from this angle here, they doesn't look as clunky as the Siege versions. And now for some accessories comparison. So with the Siege versions, we got a grappling hook and for the Kingdom versions, you get the same thing. But one thing that the Siege does better is that you got some black paint on here. But on the Kingdom version, it is just gray. And the other gun is the same. Yeah, and the only difference will be the color of the plastic, but to me that is like not that a major of a difference. So yeah, to attach the gun, so it can just just the same as with the switch, just plug it onto his hands, and this one here cannot attach to his shoulders. So there we go. So I think that I would prefer the siege version for this point because you can actually attach the guns onto his shoulders via these two holes over here. 
And if you notice, this Kingdom versions of Mirage lacks a lot of holes, which is the signature for the Wolf of Cyberdraw trilogy. So I would say that this is not really a Kingdom figure. I would say that he looks closer to a Studios Series 86 figure than an actual Kingdom's figures. So for the size comparison, since this is, this is nearly the same thing as the Mirage, I'm gonna skip through the size comparison. You can check out the size comparison via this link to this Siege Mirage review. I will leave it down in the description. And so now let's begin with the articulation. So the articulation begins with the head. He can look up and down like that. His, his head can spin 360, um, swing out. And you got two joints, that is one joint, so you can actually pull it all over. Something like that if you want to. You got a rotation. You got a bicep swivel. You got a elbow bend. And there's no um, hands articulation because this is the old transformer hands stuff. There we go. You get a waist swivel. And this is a kick to the front. The kick to the back. You got a really nice split. You got a thigh swivel. You got a knee. This is a knee bend. The basic deluxe knee band and you got a pivot and some toe movement as well so i mean articulation wise this guy's decent for a deluxe class and i expect him to get the same amount of articulation as the mirage and he does so yeah that i have no problems with him i mean like he holds fine and i enjoy him and now let's get to transformation So finishing transforming Mirage, I must say that this is a really surprisingly pleasant transformation that I recently got because I was expecting him to be the, as the same as the Siege versions but this is a brand new vehicle. This is more earth-like, more refined and has some more details onto it. As you can see there's an even a molded seat section over there and yeah overall it just looks better. I want to bring in the Siege versions right now for you to see. So yeah you can clearly see the two. And I must say they are good in their own ways, but I would now I would prefer the Kingdom's version better than the Siege one. And essentially this is still the same race car, but as for the Kingdom, you got some clear blue plastic, a fully sculpted in roof, but for the uh, that is for the Siege, sorry, but for the Kingdoms you got a roofless, I guess, and you don't have any Cybertronian, but you got the number 26. And yeah, that is pretty nice over here. And then this section here as well. If you look at these wings underneath here, the Kingdom versions just look slimmer rather than the Siege versions. They look kind of bulky to me. And I would prefer the way they handle it in the Kingdom versions than the Siege one. And one more thing will be about this section here. You see a lot more details here than the Siege. And yeah, that is basically about it. And you can, of course, like the Siege one, you can also store your weapons onto here and here at this robot, at this, at this alternate form. But for the siege, that is onto this section on top of here. So yeah, I would say both of them does their job. And when you flip this two around, the difference can be seen. And here for the siege versions, you are nearly like pulling the chest upwards. But for the kingdom versions, you are hiding them downwards. And so yeah, that is quite a different in engineering. I must say I prefer the kingdom versions better also. This is the Kingdom version, at least my copy is quite too tight in some area, especially the legs. So that sums up to my review of the Wolf of Cybertron Kingdom Mirage. I guess 
it is up to you when you decide which one would you prefer a Cybertronian race car or an Earth like race car and to be honest i would love to see and i love, would love to call this mirage as a studio series 86 mirage rather than a kingdom figures but yeah i mean he's good and i can to say that i'm happy that i purchased both of them and i'm really looking forward for other figures in the future from this kingdom line so tell me what you think about this figure over here and like and share and if you are new to my channel press subscribe and follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and stuff so turn on out